everybody. Welcome to Grammar for Week 3. Today we're going to classify some sentences. We are going to uh, read each sentence and then classify them. I want you to be following along and reading with me as I read and then classifying with me, uh, remembering to ask the questions. Are you ready? Here we go. Reading sentence number one. The small green snake stared at the bear. What stared at the bear? Snake. Subject noun. What is being said about snake? Snake stared. Verb. At. Preposition. At what? There. Object of the preposition. The. Article adjective. What kind of snake? Green. Adjective. What kind of snake? Small. Adjective. The article adjective. Complete subject. The small green snake. Complete predicate. Stared at the bear. Prepositional phrase. At the bear. Now you can do the parentheses around the preposi prepositional phrase or not. It doesn't matter. I just want to show you what the prepositional phrase is. You're actually going to do this in other grades uh, the further along you get. So it's a great um, step to go ahead and do now, but you don't have to. Let's read sentence two together. Billy went to the library. Who went to the library? Billy. Subject noun. What is being said about Billy? Billy went. Verb. To. Preposition. To what? Library. Object of the preposition. The. Article adjective. Complete subject. Billy. Complete predicate. Went to the library. Prepositional phrase. To the library. Excellent job. Let's work on sentence three. A frightened rabbit ran away. Remember that word frightened? It means scared. Let's read the sentence one more time. A frightened rabbit ran away. What ran away? Rabbit. Subject noun. What is being said about rabbit? Rabbit ran. Verb. Away. Adverb. Frightened, or what kind of rabbit? Frightened. Adjective. A, article adjective. Now the question I shouldn't have asked here was um, ran where, and then the answer should have been away. So if you did that, you were correct. Mrs. Williamson made a mistake. Hey, guess what? So the question after my verb should have been ran where? Away, adverb. Um, let's do a complete, uh, the complete subject. A frightened rabbit. Complete predicate, ran away. Now, if you notice there's no prepositional phrase in the sentence, then not every sentence has one. Let's read number four. Three little birds chirped in the tree. What chirped in the tree? Birds. Subject noun. What is being said about birds? Birds chirped. Verb. In? Preposition. In what? Tree. Trees. Object of the preposition. The? Article adjective. What kind of birds? Little. Adjective. How many birds? Three. Adjective. Now, before we do the complete subject and the complete predicate, I want you to remember um, we have been talking about singular and plural nouns. You know that an object of a preposition is going to be a noun. And so in this example, um, the object of the preposition is trees. Um, do you think this is a singular noun or a, um, oh, I forgot, singular or plural noun? 
What do you think? Hopefully you said plural noun because trees means more than one. Very good. All right, so let's underline the complete subject. The complete subject in this sentence is three little birds. Complete predicate, chirped in the trees. Very good. Now, we've also been talking about common nouns and proper nouns. Uh, remember, a noun is a person, a place, or a thing. So let's find our nouns in each sentence and decide, is it common or is it proper? Remember, common can be any old noun. We know that it's a proper noun if it is a capital letter. So let's read sentence one again. The small green snake stared at the bear. Okay, so the first noun in our sentence is the word snake. Snake, is there a capital letter? There is not, so it's just a common noun. Any old snake, it's not the name of the snake. Um, the next noun in our sentence is the word bear. Is this a common noun or a proper noun? Well, it doesn't have a capital letter, so I know that it's just a common noun. It's not the bear's name or the name of a type of bear, like a grizzly bear, okay? Number two, Billy went to the library. Now, my first noun is the word Billy. Billy is a proper noun. I know it's a proper noun because Billy is the name of the boy or the man. Um, so it is a proper noun. The next noun in sentence number two is library. Because um, anytime we see object of the preposition, it's a noun. So library, is this the name of a library? No, it's just a library. And so we know that that's a common noun. Look at sentence three. The subject noun is rabbit. Is there a capital letter? No, so we know that rabbit is just a common noun. There are no more um, nouns in this sentence because there is no prepositional phrase. Let's look at sentence four. The first noun we come across in sentence four is the word birds. Now, birds is more than one, so it's a plural noun, but it is just a common noun. We don't know what kind of birds they are. Um, and this is also not uh, capitalized, so it's not proper. It's just common. The second um, is the word trees. It's not the type of tree, it's not an oak tree or a pine tree, it just says trees. And so we know that that's also a common noun. Hopefully you enjoyed this grammar lesson uh, with me. I enjoyed meeting with all of you today. I hope you use this when you are completing the next page in your grammar book. Remember, if you have any questions or your, your parent has a question, you don't remember how to do something, don't forget to call me text me or email me. I'm always available. Bye guys.